You know, I do feel Hollywood has a tendency of overlooking a lot of people, right? They overlook solid talent. They still get work. That talent gets work. That talent stays active for a long time, but never truly gets the love and the adoration that they deserve. And I feel one of the key people uh, in Hollywood that's been overlooked like that is F. Gary Gray. This dude here is amazing. Work like Friday, Set It Off, The Negotiator, The Fate of the Furious, Straight Outta Compton, even one of my personal favorites, The Italian Job from 2003, because I still sing to myself uh, The Reckoning by Boomcat, which was uh, featured prominently in that movie back then. And I've always wanted to see uh, the, the Brazilian job, which was the rumored sequel to the Italian job. Give me more Jason Statham. Give me uh, more of that film and I'll be very happy. But uh, F. Gary Gray apparently is moving over uh, into a new genre and that's going to be video game adaptation because it was announced today that he is going to be helming the Saints Row movie. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. This is reality. He will be working on the Saints Row feature film. Now, according to Deadline here, it says that they have exclusively revealed that Gray is now developing a film based on the hit action video game series, Saints Row. Greg Russo, who recently wrote the screenplay for Warner Brothers Mortal Kombat reboot, is also pending the script. Upon boarding this project, Russo and Gray will join forces to create a compelling narrative that tells the story of the rise of the third Third Street Saints as they battle rival gangs in an attempt to conquer the fictional cities of Stillwater and Steelport. Now, that is, of course, all we know right now. That's it. That's all it is right now. F. Gary Gray, prolific director, in my opinion, teaming up with a guy who is working on the Mortal Kombat reboot for Warner Brothers to do an adaptation of Saints Row, a Grand Theft Auto knockoff. That, uh, that was, that, that was, that's a lot of fun. And I'm just, I'm a little bit concerned, not in, in F Gary Gray's talent. He'll definitely bring it, but what exactly are we, okay. For one, which game are they going to adapt? It, I don't think it's going to be, it, it could be the first saints row, which would be a big mistake. You don't want to do the first saints row saints row while good was a very much, very much a knockoff of grand theft auto and not as good as it could have been, right? It, it was it was fun. I really loved it. I played it all the way through. Top-notch voice acting by Michael Rappaport and Keith David. And I liked the twist at the end. And I liked how it all played out. And I really enjoyed it for the kind of the gritty take on the genre as far as being an alternative to Grand Theft Auto and also offering us, I think, more things to do, if you want my honest opinion. I think functionally, Volition brought it to the table. Never mind the fact that Volition also made one of my all-time favorite games, The Punisher, for the Xbox and the PlayStation. Too. If you haven't played that one, that adaptation, that is amazing game that I would love to see them remaster uh, because it was so damn good. But that being said, when it 2008, so 11 years ago, we had the release of Saints Row 2, which was blanketed ultimately uh, by the release of Grand Theft Auto 4 four months prior. And it wasn't until a couple years down the road where Saints Row 2 ended up finding itself a, in a bit of a niche. It was very much a cult game. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I love Saints Row 2. And uh, then that kind of built up from there. And then they made Saints Row 3. And I think Saints Row 3 tried to kind of mix the two together by having the gritty approach to Saints Row that they did in the first game, as well with the kind of balls to the wall crazy aspects that we got in Saints Row 2. And it was it was too much. It was, quite frankly, not the best entry into the franchise. Now, Saints Row 4 where they went all super powered on that shit, that would probably be the one I'd want to see them do the most because Saints Row 4 was just great. Keith David as President Keith David. Uh, no, sorry, it was Vice President Keith David. That was great. And, um, and, and, and you can romance him. Uh, failing, but you can still try, which is pretty funny that they added that in there. Um, but I really feel that ultimately, like Saints Row uh, 2 and Saints Row 4 would, would be the best to adapt. Saints Row Got Out of Hell was a cool little side one, but ultimately, you know, give us give us a good Johnny Gat. Bring Daniel Day Kim in for Johnny Gat in the movie, by the way. Just do that because he was the voice of it. Uh, give us that. And I think a lot of people would be really happy. Um, but I think if they're going to do it, they're probably going to adapt number two or number three, probably more along the lines with number three, because number three in the video game space was kind of the one that uh, was the most publicized. I think even though number four went crazy with, you know, the superpower stuff, number three was obviously 
I think the one they're most likely to adapt, uh, and I hope not. I would love to see them do number two, because that was just the crazier one with a crazier story, the crazier villains, and the long-lasting cult love that the audience has for it. So I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know what they're going to do, um, but I will definitely be covering this as much as humanly possible. I do love the state, uh, or the the... The Saints Row games I have since 2006 when I first got the first one and I played them all the way through. And so this adaptation is one that is going to either be really, really, really good or really, really, really bad. And I am curious to know your thoughts on this one. Which do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? Which game uh, would you rather see it based on one through four or get out of hell? Let me know. Uh, and if you guys uh, made it this far in the video, type in, uh, you know, Saints Row in the chat so I know. And be sure to uh, to follow me up on Twitter. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day and peace out.